Good evening ladies and gentlemen, I am MeG69 and welcome to update 6.0. It's here, 6.0 is here and what comes with that are new British tank destroyers. So today we're going to be specifically looking at the FV4005. So what I'm going to do is hopefully every day this week, so today's Wednesday, we're going to bring you the FV405. Tomorrow, we're going to go down the list. So tomorrow, we're going to bring you the Conway. Uh, Friday, we're going to bring you the Charioteer. And then we're going to go to the Tier 7, which I haven't even... Uh, the Challenger. I haven't even got that yet. I skipped the whole lot. Uh, went straight for the Tier 10. I had enough uh, free XP to, to, to get it. And I wanted to go down the list. So FV405, it's actually a very, very good tank. Now... Before I talk about the tank, I do have to say that uh, the servers at the minute are really, really bad. I mean, I could be sitting in my garage now, it happened like twice, just recording one of the replays, and it just kicks you off. It either kicks you off, or you click the missions, and it freezes, or you click your friends, it freezes. Wargaming are aware of this. They are aware of it, so hopefully it won't be too long before it is fixed, because it's almost unplayable so we're going to look at the fv4005 as i've said i've got a couple of replays one of my own and one sent by Quasim, which i've just thought i would chuck in uh, just to save me a bit of time so the hit points on this it is a re auto reload um and it has three shells as we know hit points is 1910 the armor is actually it might as well be zero everyone is just like the grills um in tier 10 People are just going to use HE, uh, and so they should, so they should. And that brings me to the point of using your consumables. I would definitely, not the consum provision, sorry, I would definitely use the spool liner. Now, I haven't actually got the spool liner on. I'm going to use it in, I don't know why, I should. So I'm going to use it instead of that. So, because that does 20% less damage to HE, so that is vital. You have to use the spool liner. Um, consumables, what I'm going to run, I, I, I would run in the rec, uh, reticle calibration, but I find myself, I, I was never using it. So I just thought, you know, I'm going to take it off and I'm going to use something that I will use. And I definitely recommend using the improved engine power boost. It gives, it gives you 50% engine power plus 10% to traverse, and it gives you 8 kilometers an hour forward and 10 going back. And it lasts 15 seconds which is great at the start of the battle. Click that, get into your position very, very quickly. So I'd definitely use that. And 100% the shell reload boost you have to use because that 30, minus 30% 30 of your reload time, so that pushes it down to 2.1 second reload in between each shell. And then the multi-purpose uh, restoration pack. So I'd definitely run all those, definitely. I wouldn't worry about running the extra repair kit because I just think you'd get more use out of the improved engine power boost. Um, equipment, I'm not even going to go through the equipment. It's it's up to you what you use, really, equipment-wise. Um, however, I am running it with improved ventilation because the HE on this thing isn't actually that great. It's like 65. Very poor for a British TD. Uh, well, British tank just in general. So... The HE is very, very poor in this tank. So we're going to look at the stats. Uh, we've, had, we've had a look at the armor. Um, DPM, 3377, which is really good. And that's an 18.52 second magazine reload. And you've got a three second shell reload. And of course, if you use that shell reload boost, that pushes it down to 2.1. So very good there. Penetration, AP average is 294 and your APCR is 388 so very good pen on your ap and your apcr and you've got an average of 460 damage on your ap 390 on your apcr and 550 on your he aim time 3.5 dispersion 0.326 gun elevation eight degrees which isn't great uh, but it has got a nice 10 degrees of gun depression um, and the speed 40 kilometers an hour so looking at those stats it's an all-round, it is a good tank, and what I like about the tank is there is a few different ways that you can play the tank. Um, you can go with the mediums, support the mediums, or you can use it as a sniper, um, as a TD. One, 
way I wouldn't play the tank is supporting your heavies, like front, medium line. Definitely not, because the enemy heavies and TDs are just going to destroy you. So the only way I'd play this front line is if I'm with the mediums supporting the mediums, because if you've got two mediums with you and you've got your three shells every 2.1 seconds, you can shoot a medium twice before they can shoot you. And that's like nearly a thousand damage. So we're going to look at two replays now, which we're going to just load up. So here we got uh, Kwasim, and he's on Rockfield, and it is a supremacy battle. So he's going to play it like a proper TD. Um, he's going to sit in a TD position, and he's going to snipe. Um, one thing I will say, he's not using the speed boost. He is using both uh, repair kits, and he is using the the quick reload, which is absolutely fine. Um, now. What you do have to be careful with, if, if you are going to use that uh, shell reload boost, make sure you use it effectively. Like, don't just see a tank, uh, get one shot and, and push it. Make sure you, if you're going to use it, make sure you can use it. Like, you don't want to do it if you get one shot and then the tank goes behind cover. You want to do it if the tank's in, in open or if a tank's just been shot make the most of that because you only get it every sort of what is it 30 to 50 seconds i can't remember um so make sure you use that for put that to good use now he's in a bush and he a uh, half his team has gone left half his team have gone right there is a centurion in the middle and there is a centurion uh, just in front of him um, there's also a death star at the back there's the chieftain and to the right also there is an e100 which his team has now caught two bases. So that has put pressure on the enemy team. So now a Death Star comes available, and this is where I'm saying he uses uh, the shell reload, and then the Death Star goes out of sight. Now, when he pushed it, the Death Star was spotted and he was backing up. So that was actually a perfect time to use that. Um, so he got one shot off, and then he got two blind shots. Whether they hit, we will see at the end. So, so far he hasn't really done anything. He's got one shot off going by the uh, the banners, or not the banner, the banners actually say 1700, where the side there, eight, 800. So, which that's, that shows that he got both of them blind shots on the Death Star. Um, but now his team are getting pushed on the right. Uh, he's got a shot there on the E100, um, and now he backs up because he's on a big reload. There's no point being in the open when you're on an 18 plus second reload, which is absolutely fine. He's going to reset his camo, he's going to reload, and then he's going to go back up and see and search for targets. He knows that the E100 is a one shot, so he's going to poke forward. His shell reload is almost uh, come back, so he, that will, he will get that again very soon. And now the enemy are capping B, so he knows that there is a tank in front of him. There's the E100 on a one shot. He's going to back up, use the gun depression, and he's going to clear the E100. So it's now a four on five. Now the enemy have cap B, he's, and he's going to spot, I think, the chieftain. Uh, there we go, the chieftain, and he's got his shell reload back. So he's going to get one shot, tracks him. He's going to get his second shot and he's going to use the HE, which is absolutely perfect. Uh, so he's now done 2.5k damage. Well, in fact, he's done just over 3k. So the Centurion 7 1 now, he, he does a great job because his team, uh, Kwasim's team, are on 900 supremacy points and they've got Cap A. So the Centurion, instead of pushing on the FV, he's gone to Cap A, which is the best move to do. Uh, that stops the pressure or that just releases a little bit of pressure because there's no cap points going up on the green team. Uh, but it's a now a three on two. The Death Star, as we know, he penned in with all three shots. So he is very low, uh, very low hit points. He's going to die at any moment as soon as he gets spotted, I believe. Uh, but now Kwasim is going to search for the Centurion. So he's got his free, load, free shells. He's going to use his quick reload. There's the Death Star, he's spotted and he's gone. And that's Kwasim's third shot into the Centurion. Now the Centurion, if the Centurion pushed and he was using Hesh, then he could potentially kill Kwasim before he reloads. Um, but at this stage, 975 supremacy points. He's a one shot. Kwasim is now on a reload where he's just about to reload and he can push the Centurion 
and he can kill him just before he goes under the hill for his third kill. So he done a great job using the tank as a sniper. 4.9k damage, 1,364 supremacy points. Uh, not much assistant damage. He only damaged four tanks. But overall, it was a nice, good spot. Done his damage, done his job. And that's absolutely fine to play this, the tank like this. Um, however, you can also play the tank. As I've said, front line use helping your mediums, which is what I am going to do here. So we're on mine, ruined, and as I've said, it is me. We're not going to go camping at the back. We are going to go full in on C. The bat chat has gone to C. He's going to go and spot. We've got also a grill with us as well. And you can see the minimap. The other four have gone towards sort of A slash B. So we've now spotted the bat chat and we've now spotted the 121B. And the AMX up there, 5120, that is around uh, the B area. And our team are dealing with him. So the bat chat tries pushing us. And unfortunately, I'm not running the speed boost at the moment. So I wasn't able to traverse uh, traverse enough to, to get the batch up. So I'm just going to sit in the cap, um, the medium cap. I'm a TD and I'm sitting in the medium cap and we're going to cap the only base so far. So And now we're going to go head towards the batch out. And this is what I mean about the HE. You can only just about pen, look, you can only just about pen a batch out. We do get 600 damage. And again, look, you can that's a 121B. You should be able to pen that easily with HE from any tank. Um, but I didn't want to risk not penning, so I do shoot him with the AP and basically put him down to a one shot. I'm on a reload. I don't think the bat chat knows, so I'm going to try and push the bat chat. Uh, I'm just about reloaded. Our team shoot him once. He's now on a one shot, and I do manage to clear him. And the 121B is also a one shot, and I think the bat chat on our team is now going to go and deal with him. So uh, the IS-7 deals with the IS-7, the bat chat deals with the 121B. So it's now a six on four situation. I've still got plenty of hit points left. I've only done 1500 damage. The IS-4 IS takes out our Jaeger Rue, so it's now a five on four. We've still got the only cap in on the in the battle. Um, Jaeger Rue now takes off and our team are just falling like flies. It's now a three on four situation. And there's like three tanks almost on full hit points. So we're going to get behind the AMX, get one shot into him. Our T57 is going to clear him. And I am spotted. So I'm going to back up because these big, heavy tanks are coming around the corner. We've still got two shells. And I think, do I reload? Do I not? But then I see the E4. And I'm like, no, I'm going to try and get a shot out on him. Uh, sorry for the glitch. We do get a shot on the IS-4. He's now tracked. Uh, we do get a final shot on the E4. So the E4 is now a one shot. Our bat chat takes out the E4, so it's just now a full health Jaegeru versus a, uh, and sorry, an IS4. Now our T57, I'm thinking, no, don't die yet. I'm almost reloaded. And just as I reload, 575, the IS4 does kill the T57, but I bounce. That was a bad, bad, bad bounce. Uh, I should have took my time a little bit more, um, but now I'm on a reload. So we're just going to wait. I don't want to expose myself because there is a Jaeger Roo. Um, my bat chat on my team is also a one shot. So the Jaeger Roo can hit me in the face for 1500 damage. So I do want to be careful. So what I'm going to do, I am going to take a shot from the IS-4. But that means I can clear him. And it's now just a two on one situation. The bat chat has caught base A. And now I know that the Jaeger is coming for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit around this corner. I, I think he was coming in this direction. So I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait till I reload. Wait until the bat chat comes around. And then I do poke forward. He does hit me. But he should have used HE. He would have killed me. Um, and now I've got three shells to get uh, into him. I do mess up this shot here. I'm going back behind a hill. And, and then I decide to shoot. Uh, but now the bat chat is taking hit, using his clip, puts him down to a one shot. I'm still on a seven second reload, but by the time he traverses and turns around, I should have just reloaded. So a nice AP shell into his bottom plate. 980 supremacy points. We get ourselves three kills. As expected, we didn't bounce a single shell, which you're not going to unless it hits your track. And we finish on 5,500 damage. We also make 21,000 credits. So it's a lovely tank. I think it's balanced. It's not OP. It's definitely balanced. 
uh, good tank to have in the game. I would just like to see the HE just a little bit higher than it is. But that's the FE4005, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Come back tomorrow for the Conway, which is a tank that I adore. But for now, I'm Meadsy, and I'll catch you soon.